one of you are able to hop on one of these places and hang with us. What's up, guys? How are you? Hello, 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 hello. My name is Josh. I'm your push coach. So pumped to hang out with you tonight for an event I am calling Become an Influencer, where I'm going to teach you regardless of where you're at in your business, whether you're trying to grow your following, whether you are trying to um, increase your engagement, whether you're trying to increase sales, recruiting, build a team or shoot, get the team that you've built to actually show up and do stuff, regardless of where you're at in your business right now. I'm going to teach you how to grow influence in a way where people want to follow you, where people chase you around. So make sure you're saying hello. Again, I am live here in the webinar jam room as well as live on Facebook. So I'm going to kind of be like back and forth trying to interact with, with all of you guys. Facebook events have not been friendly to me lately and giving notifications to people when I'm posting the registration link. So I'm trying to hang out in both places just to make sure that everyone gets to be a part of this event that was trying to be a part of this event. So thank you so much. Make sure and say hello as you're hopping on. Let me know where you're from. We've got over here, oh, Mallory, RWC from Kansas. Are you a, are you a Jayhawker? We got Stephanie from Nebraska. We got Mariah from Maine. We've got Sarah from Massachusetts, Kara from Arizona. Thank you guys so, so, so much for being here over on Facebook. I see Susan. What's up, Shelly? I've got my top fan uh, Sheila on what's going on guys. I'm so excited to hang with you. I'm going to be chugging, chugging a little, a uh, little energized here as we get to rocking and we are going to dive right in because we've got some awesome stuff. Got some great content for you tonight. We've got some giveaways as always for you tonight. Of course, we got to give away some awesome stuff anytime we rally people up. So here's what we're going to do. Quick intro. My name is Josh. I uh, am a self-proclaimed push coach. Nobody knows what that means, so I get to make it up as I go. Um, I'm a member of the John Maxwell team. John Maxwell is the number one leadership trainer on the planet. I went through his certification program, and I mostly work to um, work with network marketers. And one of the main things that I do is I call myself a push coach because I'm kind of like the life coach mixed with the motivational speaker. We tie the two together so that we get your mindset, we get your mind right, but we also bring this energy and this life and this excitement to help you to go rock your world. One promise that I can make you tonight is that you are not going to want to sleep. You are going to want to work your business, which is what we want. I want to promote action. So if my eyeballs look a little silly, again, I apologize. I'm live on Webinar Jam on my computer on Facebook Live on my phone, and my phone seems to be blocking my diva light a little bit, so the lighting on my computer doesn't seem quite as good. The lighting on my phone looks great, but what we're going to do is we're going to do some giveaways tonight. So we are giving away five free training groups, five free spots in my best-selling training, The Art of Recruiting, as well as giving away $300. Three different people are going to win 100 bucks cash. It's not really cash. Technically, we PayPal you the money. I don't really know like how we would pay you cash because people are from all over the world. It'd be super weird if you got like an envelope of cash. I don't think it'd make it to you. So technically, you're going to get 100 bucks via PayPal. But three different people are going to get 100 bucks tonight just like that. So here's how you can participate in that. Take a screenshot of what you see right here on your computer, on your phone, whatever it is you have. You can take a screenshot or you can take a selfie with me in the background. So you can get that selfie angle, get that get that thing just right. You can use that portrait mode if you want. And then what I want you to do is I want you to tag me on Facebook or Instagram or over on your IG stories. Any of that stuff works. Personally, I've been kind of into IG lately. And then, Crystal, what up? And then I want you to drop your favorite quote from tonight. And then I want you to use hashtag let's puke together. So again, Screenshot of what you see. Some of you already know this, but some of you are new, so I have to always explain it. Screenshot of what you see. Selfie with me in the background, okay? And then I need you to give your favorite quote from tonight. Use hashtag Let's Puke Together and then tag me. I am on Instagram, Josh Coates underscore push coach. Josh Coates underscore push coach. Over on Facebook, you can just put at Josh Coates push coach and it'll pop right up, okay? So one more time. Screenshot. Selfie, hashtag, let's puke together, wearing it on my wrist, okay? Hashtag, let's puke together. Tag me, Josh Coates underscore push coach. 
and then drop your favorite line from tonight. Try to get it done as early in the call as you can because my assistant, Jay Ring, kind of watching these posts as it happens, and then he tries to pick the winners right towards the end, okay? So try to get them in as quick as you can, okay? Are you guys ready to go? You guys ready to do this? So tonight, I want to talk to you about becoming an influencer. What is influence? Influence, John Maxwell says this. He says, leadership is influence, nothing more, nothing less. In other words, I love, I love the way John Maxwell, real women conquer. What's up, ladies? How you doing? In other words, John Maxwell says this. If you think you're a leader, but you turn around and nobody's following you, you're not really a leader. You're just taking a walk. So essentially, influence is this. When you say, hey, let's go, how many people come along for the ride? I've been reading a book that I'm using, um, encouraging people in my push leader group um, to also read called The Energy Bus. Energy Bus, it's such a, such a, such a good freaking book on leadership, on taking ownership of where you're going on the journey and bringing the team along. And, and, and I love what it's, it's talking about, inviting people to come along for a ride. Well, here's the thing. So many of you feel like probably the same way I did in my first year of business. And I'm going to explain that in a second. You feel like you're trying to go somewhere, but nobody wants to come along. And for some of you, that's as simple as social media, just trying to get people to interact with you. Nobody on social media is even interacting with you. For some of you, it's trying to actually close some sales. You're like, Josh, I've been like talking to people in the inbox and I feel like I get people chatting away and then out of nowhere, it's like people just ghost on me. We've got other people who say, you know what, I've gotten to selling. I had some people on my Q&A call today or actually on, the, uh, on my high performance mastermind call today who brought in some guests with them um, like we do once a month, every single month. And as always, there's people who say, Josh, I can sell, but I can't recruit and I don't know why trying to get from being a seller to becoming a recruiter. And then, of course, once you start recruiting, this is the most common thing that I hear from people. Josh, I can recruit. I got people on my team. I feel like they're on my bus. They say they want to be on my bus. They say they want to be here, but nobody's coming along for the ride. In fact, it's like they got their feet hanging out and they're like trying to pull the bus back to the takeoff. And so wherever you're at in your business, tonight is going to apply to you to essentially help you to level up your influence, whether your level of influence is zero, two, four, six, eight, whatever it is, I wanna help you to level up into whichever area of your business it is that you're trying to conquer. And I found out very quickly in my first year of business how important influence was. Um, I came from basically detailing cars um, for nine and a half years and then playing in rock bands on the weekend. I went from detailing cars, basically blue collar job. I'm talking sweat and gross and nasty. We had no air conditioning in our shop. So it was basically, it was, it was some gross work vacuuming up other people's crap out of their car. Um, for those of you that have minivans, you are not my friend. I do not like cleaning minivans. Going from that and then playing in rock bands on the weekends, I had super long hair, wearing super skinny jeans, which I kind of still do that. And when I started my business, here's what I found out really, really, really fast. I did not have any level of influence outside of this little world that I had lived in of detailing cars and playing music. The second I decided to start my own business and started reaching out to people, taking people out for coffee, I was um, taking people out for dinner, I was detailing cars in 100 degree heat and then I literally had like a towel and a dress shirt and tie and some dress shoes and some jeans. And after work, I would literally go in the bathroom, I would get the towel wet in the sink and I would kind of like shower myself with this towel. I would use this towel to just kind of like shower myself off, throw some deodorant on, throw some dress clothes on, and then basically um, head off to have a meeting with someone. And here's what I found out. Maybe some of you guys can relate to this. And again, I apologize that my eyeballs are going up and down. That's the beauty of being on two devices right now. I get to hang with more of you, but you may have trouble keeping up with my eyeballs. Here's what I found out real quick, and I feel like many of you are in this boat. I would take these people, I would sit down with them, and I would usually ask some questions, eventually get down to what they really wanted to do, what their goals kind of were. This is the whole life coaching process. What many of you are doing behind the scenes to try to make sales is just ask questions, get people talking, get people chatting. And then I would help them figure out, okay, you said you want to do this. 
So how do we create an intentional plan for this? And I would kind of walk them through and I, and I would essentially life coach them over a coffee or over dinner. And then at the end, I would say something like this, man, this sounds like something you really want to do. It sounds like something you're really excited. Let me ask you this. Would it help you to have a regular conversation like this with someone to help you hold you accountable to this process and walk through it with you? And every single time people would say this to me, I heard this over and over and over and over. Josh, I would love that. Josh, you are so inspiring. I have enjoyed this time with you so much, but I just don't think I can afford that. How many people, how many people, raise your hand, come on, drop me an emoji if you hear a hundred times a day, oh my God, you are so inspiring, you are so amazing, you are so wonderful, but I just don't think I can afford that. And you're over here going, you can't afford that? It's like 150 bucks, okay? You spent triple that at Target yesterday and you forgot to get groceries. You spent two times that on Amazon yesterday, and you don't even remember what you ordered. Do not tell me you ain't got 150 bucks when I know very well, because we've been chatting behind the scenes over on IG, I know very well that you spent a couple hundred dollars just yesterday to upgrade your iPhone. In fact, you spent $1,200 to upgrade your iPhone. Do not tell me you don't have $150. Can I tell you guys something? The problem is not that they don't have $150 or $75 or $200 or whatever it is you're trying to sell. The problem is not that they don't have the money. The problem is that you don't have the influence. Because when you have the influence, people will pay whatever you're charging. When you have the influence, in other words, when people see you as the person they need in their life, why do you think so many clothing companies use celebrities and put their names on the tags? Because they know that you want to be like that person. Are any of us stupid enough? to think those people actually designed those clothes? Are any of us stupid enough to actually think that that person wears that fragrance? Are you ever like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm gonna get this new perfume. It says it's Celine Dion. I bet this is exactly what she wears. Every, she custom put together this fragrance because she wanted to smell like this. No, she just put her name on it so that she could collect a paycheck. We're the ones that are stupid enough to go spend $80 because it has her name on it because we want to be like her. I mean, who doesn't want to be like Beyonce? Let's be real, right? So here's the thing. It's not that what you have to offer is too expensive. I promise you that as many times as you've allowed yourself to believe that, okay? It's not because what you have to offer is too expensive. It's not because they don't have the money. It's because you don't have the influence. You have not established yourself as the person they know, like, and trust. That's hard to hear. I know that's no fun to hear. So Josh, how do we become the influencer? Tonight, I'm going to teach you a couple very practical things that you can put into use immediately to help you become the influencer because I went from my first year having zero influence at all. I mean, people were people were so kind. Oh, Josh, you're, you're doing... You're doing such a good job. We're so proud of you. You're so you're, you're so inspiring. You're so wonderful. J just great. Okay, so we'll talk to you later. I don't want a pat on the back. <laughs> I'm trying to build a business here. I want a paycheck. Oh, yes, I want to help people, but I don't know about you guys. I'd like to get paid to help people if I'm going to invest all this time and energy into it, correct? And so my first year in business, I signed two clients. I made $500. My second year, I got much, 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 much better at applying these principles that I'm about to teach you. And nine months into my second year, I was able to quit my job and have my first $10,000 month. And my business has just grown since. Why? Because I learned to create influence. You don't have to be outgoing. You don't have to be super energetic like me. Although, I mean, I am chugging some energize over here, which helps. You don't have to be pretty, smart. The only thing you have to do is be willing to commit to the process to become an influencer. So I'm going to walk you through. You guys ready to take some notes? Are you ready to take some notes? 
I hope you're ready to take some notes because if you ain't taking notes, we're just having a good chat, okay? There's always homework, so make sure you write this down. Let's do it, okay? Number one, you have to ask yourself, what can you become the best at? What can I become the best at? Here's the thing. I believe that so many of you are so focused on what everyone else is good at. You're so focused on everyone else's strengths that you haven't even taken the time to look in the mirror and ask yourself, what are my strengths? In other words, what am I good at? What can I offer that no one else can offer? And I I, I hear this on calls every single day. People say things like this. Why would anyone sign up with me? When there's all these other people they could sign up with, there's all these other people that are more successful than me, they're prettier than me, they're smarter than me, they have more going on. Why would anyone sign up with me? And here's what I know about this person when they start saying this, is that they have been following other people that they admire and that they look up to, but instead of following people to be inspired by them, what you normally do is you are normally following people that you wish you could be like. You are following people that you're like, oh my God, they're so outgoing. And and here's what happens. I say this all the time. Our limiting beliefs are constantly looking for a story to justify our fears and excuses. Let me say that again. Our limiting beliefs are constantly looking for a story to justify our fears and our excuses. What I mean by this is if you think you can't be successful because you're not outgoing enough, you will go follow every outgoing person on the planet to prove to yourself that you're not outgoing enough. And you will sit there and you will validate yourself over and over. See, I knew I couldn't be successful. I'm... I don't know how to dance before before I go live. I, I, I don't know how to dance around on Instagram stories. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to like whip my hair back. And the, I don't know how to do that whole mermaid thing where I get my hair wet and I like fling it back. I hope somebody got a picture of that because that'd be awesome. I don't know how to, and you start comparing yourself to others. And instead of saying, what is so wonderful about me? You look at them and you say instead, what could possibly be wonderful about me? Do you, do, you, do you hear the difference in my expression? Do you hear the difference in my tone of voice? Instead of saying, what is wonderful about me? Most of you are looking at other people and saying, what could possibly be wonderful about me? And here's the thing that I need you, Jatanya, Mary, you knew, you knew exactly who I had on my mind. I love Jatanya. She is awesome. Instead of, instead of focusing on your weaknesses, You have to learn to focus on your strengths. And I know some of you are like, dude, I don't really know what my strengths are. I I told someone on a call just this. I told them this just today on a call. I said, here's the thing. Even if you haven't taken some strength finder quiz, even if you haven't figured out exactly what you're good at, here's where you start. What have I seen change in my own life? In other words, start with your story. Your story is always your greatest strength. The fact that I came from a religious home where we never had money, uh, I was taught that everything is right or wrong, which which really, really, really worked against me when I was trying to build a business because I had this perfectionist mentality of thinking that I had to be in like God's perfect will or I was in sin. And I don't know if John Maxwell team is God's perfect will. That worked against me. The fact that I never made any money in my entire life worked against me. The fact that Um, I found myself failing in my first year over and over and over and over. All of this is my story. And at some point, I had a transformation up here because of what my product, personal development, had done for me. Now, every single one of you, if you have nothing else, if the only thing you have is your story of how your business, your product gave you more life, more hope, more energy, more confidence, more fulfillment. That's where you start. You don't have to know. Oh my gosh. Okay. So like, am I like good at this or good at that? I don't really know if I should be on Instagram or Facebook. You don't got to figure all that out. What you do have to figure out is my story sets me apart from everyone. There is no one else in the world that has my story. I'm the only one. 
And I have to stop comparing myself to everyone else's stories and what they have or haven't accomplished, whether or not they're driving Ferraris and Lambos. And I got to say, here's the thing. They got great things going on. And that's awesome. But I got my own thing going on. And you have got to learn to ask, what is so special about me instead of what is so special about me? And you got to take time every single day. That's why I love the self journal. I've got it down here below. I can't reach it from here. The self journal makes me every single day before I go to bed, take some time to write down some of my wins. Now here's, here's what it also does. I also write down the lessons. And I do think that self-evaluation and taking time to write down things that you are learning and things that you're failing is very important. But here's what we do sometimes. We write down everywhere we failed and we do not take time to write down where we succeeded. And I do think that sometimes we are so hard on ourselves that we give ourselves no credit for anything that we have done because we're comparing ourselves. Here's, here's, here's where we used to be. Here's where we're at. Sorry, you can't see me on my phone. Here's where we used to be. Here's where we're at. Here's where we're trying to get to. And instead of saying, oh my God, look how far I've come, we're looking at, oh my God, look how far I have to go. And so we use this against us instead of taking credit for this. The fact that you used to be here and now you're here is more than enough to post about. It's more than enough to talk about. It's more than enough to build a brand around. It's more than enough to show up and be excited about. For me personally, my first year, even though no one was listening just yet, and I'm going to get to that in point number three, even though no one was listening yet, I knew the transformation that it had given my life, and I was willing to put a stake in that and take that to the bank. I was willing to say, this is my story. And I struggled my first year being on the John Maxwell team, feeling like everyone else on the team was more professional than me, was more educated than me, had more experience than me, had previous networks that they had built up that I didn't have, constantly thinking, ah, what's so special about me? What's so But I just embraced what was special about me. And I found that I could share my story with confidence. If nothing else, just get on and share my story and share what had helped me and share what had worked for me. And do you know what I found? I found that the people that I came across, they didn't have any idea who any of those other people on the John Maxwell team were. They weren't comparing me to anybody. The only thing they knew, the only thing they knew is this is the person that's in front of me and this is the person that's helping me. That's it. They didn't care about my weaknesses. They didn't care that currently I have got a pile of um, signed copies of book on one side of my desk that's scattered around. I've got my keys over here. I've got a tripod over here that I use to do videos sometimes. I've got an extra pair of headphones. I don't even know why these are here. I feel like I have Apple headphones everywhere. I've got a receipt. I don't even know what this, oh, apparently this receipt's from Guitar Center for some lights that I bought for my event next month. I've got a Starbucks from this morning. I've got Anybody else rocking them egg whites? Those egg white bites are so yummy. No one else cares that my desk is a mess, that I'm unorganized, and that I show up one to two minutes late almost every single time. Nobody cares about that. Do you know what they care about? They care about I'm here, and I'm in front of them, and I have something to offer. And the second I take my focus off all of the things that I suck at, those egg bites really are good, aren't they? The second I take my focus off all of the things that I suck at and I put my focus on what I'm good at, and even if the only thing I'm good at is knowing that I got a story and getting results in my own life, that's the only thing I need. Because I promise you, when you are focused on negativity, you put out negativity, and I promise you, when you're putting out negativity, don't nobody want to get on that bus with you. Don't nobody in the world want to get on a bus with the frowning driver. And here's the thing. When you've got negative energy because you're so focused on your weaknesses, here's what starts to happen. You start to think things like, well, what's the point of even washing this bus? Nobody wants to get on anyways. What's the point of putting a smile on my face? Nobody wants to go for a ride anyways. What's the point of even stopping at the bus stop to see if anyone wants to get on? No one wants to ride anyways. Why would they want to get on my bus? 
And the more and more and more attention you draw to your negativity, to your weaknesses, the less you notice your strengths. And so you don't display your strengths. So no one knows about your strengths and you manifest exactly what you were thinking is that nobody gets on your bus because don't nobody want to get on the bus that hasn't been painted, hasn't been washed. And the driver looks like they can't stand to live life themselves. You've got to focus on your strengths. All right. Number two. Number two, and this is a philosophy that I have tried to build my entire business around. Number two is simply this. Add value before you ask for value. Add value before you ever even ask for value. I remember someone in my industry, actually one of my mentors saying to never, ever, ever give away free calls because it devalues yourself. Well, I found the opposite to be true. I found that when I give my time and energy for free, see, I, this is what I think that my industry does a lot of, especially my industry. We've got a curtain and we're like, do you want to see what's behind the curtain? Okay, cool. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to look peek. Oh, peeksy. Did you see that? No, you didn't see anything. Well, that's okay. It's $5,000 if you actually want to see what's on the other side. And it's kind of like this, like, facade of like, Ooh, what's on the other side of the curtain? You got to pay all this money just to find out, which is PS by the way, while, while, why I'm in the middle of launching a new podcast. And in this new podcast, I'm literally going to do live raw one-on-one -on -one sessions with random people where we just message them that day. Like, Hey, can you hop on a call with me? I'm going to life coach them right there in the moment, going to record it live. And then we're going to have it as a podcast. It's going to be called your push coach. And it's going to launch along with my, my podcast and app are technically launching um, this next month. Cause I want you to see what's behind the curtain. I want you to see, Hey, if I get on a call one-on-one -on -one with Josh and I pay this kind of money, what is that going to look like? I'll just straight up want you to see one of the reasons I do these free um, workshops and webinars once a month is because I know a lot of you follow me on social media. You see me posting about the push mastermind, about the art of recruiting, about the push leader. And I know a lot of you are like, man, I, I want to do something. I know I need help with my business, but like at the same time, I don't know what's behind the curtain. So I put on these free workshops because I want you to see when you work with me, this is exactly what you get. You can expect this kind of energy. You can expect this kind of life. You can expect this kind of content. So you're not worried about what's on the other side of the curtain. You already know. And you know it's worth what you're about to pay. And see, this is the thing that I need every single one of you to do. You have got to add, 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 add so much value. See, a lot of people are worried that if you give too much value away, nobody wants to pay you money. When in reality, as my mentor Paul Martinelli says, everything we say you could find somewhere, someplace for free on YouTube. People do not pay you money to learn something new. People pay you money because they want access to you. That's influence. Influence says you're not paying me money because you're expecting to learn some magic thing. And if you are, I'm sorry, there is no magic thing. You're paying me money because I delivered so much value to you that you want to go along. You want to hop on my bus. You want to go for the ride. You're willing to pay the ticket price. Can you imagine paying money to go to an amusement park you hadn't seen pictures of yet? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine just showing up at Disney and all you've, you've heard good things, but you've never even seen a picture? What do we all do before we go on some type of big vacation? We ask people. We ask people. We look up pictures. We look up videos. We look up reviews. In fact, shoot, when a movie comes out, we go and look up reviews. We go look at everything we can because we want to know. When we pay to get to the other side of the curtain, we want to already have assurance that it's going to be worth the cost of the ticket. And some of you do not add enough value. Some of you are on social media taking pictures and just saying, hope you have a great day. Oh, just got done with my workout. Uh, just put on my new color. It's blue. Uh, just got back from Target. And your posts have no value to them whatsoever. Your posts are, and then this isn't for everybody. Please don't take this internally for everybody, okay? But your posts add such little value that nobody is waking up in the morning going, okay, 
what is that person saying today? I need to know because I'm having a shit day and I just need to see what they have to say because I know it's going to fix my day. One of the greatest compliments you can ever, ever get is when someone says, oh my God, it's like you are inside my head. I needed that so bad. That is my goal on Instagram. On Instagram, every single day with my posts, my goal is to say the thing that you needed to get yourself out of bed and put in action today. That's my goal. And you're not paying me any money to follow me on Instagram. I don't need money for you to follow me on Instagram. Here's what I need. I need to be the person who gives so much value that you see my face and my name everywhere you go and you can't get away from me. And maybe you are annoyed at me, but you can't help but keep watching because it's such good stuff. You need it. And so I need you to become that person to your followers. I need you to become that person to your customers. I need you to become that person to your team. I need you to become the person that people say, I need more of that person in my life. So I'm going to follow them on Facebook. I'm going to follow them on Instagram. If they say they've got a free group, I'm hopping in it. If they say they've got a paid group, I'm hopping in it. If they say they've got a new product, I'm there. If they say that they want me on their team, oh my God, they want me on their team. You see, see, do you see the difference there? A lot of you get responses from people and you're in, in, in your head, you're manifesting it because you're seeing it before it ever happens. A lot of you have trouble closing the deal, not necessarily again because your product's too expensive or they don't have the money. You're having trouble closing the deal because no one is saying, oh my God, they just messaged me. They want me to be on their team. You need to become the person. That when you show up in their inbox, oh my God, they are like fangirling. They are taking screenshots. They can't wait to see what you have to say. And when you say, here's the thing, I think you're awesome. I think you're my kind of a person and I think you should be on my team. What do you think? They are like freaking out. They're calling their friends. They're texting their spouse because they are so freaking pumped that you thought of them. That's an influencer. That is a person who has influence, but the only way you become that person is if you are putting out so much value that when you ask for it in return, no one even thinks it's weird. I mean, when you put out so much free value, in other words, when you become, let me say it this way, I often encourage my one-on-one -on -one clients Instead of thinking of themselves as a rep or ambassador for a certain company, I often use this to help them to kind of like get out of their head and get out of the box that often your company, not it's not that your company put you there, but sometimes being in that company, you put yourself there. And I often challenge them to completely change their title in their head from rep of this company or ambassador of this company to instead motivator and mentor helping people to blank motivator and mentor, helping people to blank. And for some of you, that's helping people to gain confidence. For some of you, that's helping people to gain freedom. For some of you, for me personally, it's I push entrepreneurs to reach their full potential. And essentially what I'm trying to get you to do is stop thinking of yourself as someone who represents a product or a company and instead think of yourself as someone who represents helping, supporting, motivating, and inspiring humanity. Because when you become that kind of person, nobody cares what you're selling. They're buying. They're buying whatever it is you're selling. If your company launches a new product this month and you say they should have it, that's what they're going to take. If you say they should be on your team, that's what they do. If you say they should go Emerald or I don't know, there's like a million different ranks in all of the different companies. If you say they should go something in 24 hours, they do it. If you say they should get their butts to a certain rank by the end of the year or by, um, by midway, they do it because you are the person. Uh, Susan, motivator and mentor helping people to blank. I think that's what you're asking me to repeat. Motivator and mentor helping people to blank. Whatever it is, you have seen the transformation of your life. In other words, what I challenge you to do is ask yourself, what's the biggest change that I've personally seen in my life? That's what I want to empower other people to do, okay? Whether that comes from the products or whether that comes from the business opportunity, doesn't matter. 
Whatever thing has changed your life the most, remember, it's your story. Whatever thing has changed your, transformed your life, your mindset, your mentality the most, that's what you want to help other people to do. And if your products or your business is what helped you to do that, then you know you can plug other people into the same thing to help them to do it, okay? So add value before you add. Number one, what can you become best at? Number two, add value before you ask for value. Number three, this is very important, speak even when no one else is listening. Let me say that again. Speak even when no one else is listening. You don't know what the worst thing you can possibly do is to realize you don't have influence. And instead of saying, you know what? I just got to preach. If I got to preach to the choir, if I got to preach to myself, instead of doing that, realizing you don't have influence and using it as an excuse to keep your mouth shut. What I find so frequently with people in the network marketing industry is that their business habits I say add value before you ask for value. You say, yeah, I do that once a week. I say once a week. I'm doing it like seven times a day. You say, yeah, yeah, I, I went live once last month. What, live one, once last month? How in the world is that going to build up any rapport with people? One of the main problems I see with network marketers is this. You see, you, you see the compound effect is all about doing this. But your activities look like this and i promise you promise you promise you promise you the best way to lose influence is to be inconsistent because why in the world would anyone jump on your bus if they don't know if it's actually going anywhere today you see the point is I, i've been using this example a lot because of the book energy bus i think a lot of times we think that we're climbing a mountain which is, which is one great analogy that we're climbing a mountain but here's the problem with climbing the mountain is that sometimes we see it as we're leaving people behind, which isn't really the reality because people are welcome to join us anytime, right? I think it's more like a bus route, 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 however you want to say it. I think it's more like a bus route. And every single day I've got this destination. This is my pickup point. This is the destination. Every single day I'm taking people to this destination. What's that destination? I believe it's hope. John Maxwell says that we're all dealers in hope. That's the one thing we got, man. We got hope, hope for a better life, for a better future, to be more fulfilled. That's why it doesn't matter if you've made a million dollars yet. If you've got hope, you've got something that no one else has. Let's go for a ride, okay? And you've got a bus route that's running every single day. And every single day, you're picking up at the stop, taking people to hope. Picking people at the stop, taking people to hope. And people can get on anytime they want. You stop by every single day. But here's what happens is a lot of you bring by the bus and you park it there and it stays there for three or four days. And then maybe one or two days out of the week, you go to hope one or two days out of the week. But the other, I don't know if you noticed this, but there's seven days in a week, the seven days. I don't know if you knew that seven days. If you only show up one or two days, that means five days out of the week, that bus is just parked there. Now tell me if someone is in need and someone is hurting and someone is looking for an opportunity, why in the world they're going to hop on the bus that only runs one or two days a week when they know they need something seven days a week and they're not sure if your bus is going to go anywhere on the day that they're wanting to get on. They don't want to get on a bus and sit around for two or three days to then find out where it's going. Most people that are ready for a change, they want it right this second. They need it now. They need access right now now. And they ain't got time to wait around till next Monday when your bus might actually be running. They need you showing up every single day. And that's why I say speak even when nobody is listening. In other words, what I could say also is you got to run the bus route, whether anyone's hopping on or not. And that's the thing. I know I talked a lot. Of, I talked at the beginning about, okay, no one's coming along for the ride. So we got to get influence. But here's the thing. We always, and I mean, always start off with zero influence. And one of the greatest ways we accumulate some of that influence is when people watch our bus every single day going, 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 going. And over time, people start going, you know what? Apparently, that's going somewhere good. I mean, why would they keep going over and over? Because this is what everyone is watching and waiting for. 
everyone, and I mean everyone, the second you say you've got your own business, whoo, skeptics, correct? Am I right? Got a whole bunch of skeptics. But two, the second you say that that business is network marketing, aka an MLM, people are like, oh my God, you have lost your mind. Did you go to some weird meeting at a hotel where people tricked you into coming down to the front? The more you talk about it, the more it sounds like the charismatic church services that I grew up in, where people tricked you into coming down to the front so that they could sign you up. And you're going, no, for real. This is like the real deal. I swear to you, this is this is this is everything. And no one believes you. And so what everyone is hoping you do, they're hoping your bus crashes and catches on fire and explodes. Because if it doesn't, and your bus actually runs its route successfully, and you actually build something successful, and they are the person that was talking crap, and they are the person that didn't get on the bus, they feel stupid. And something that I've learned about humans is the thing we want to be more than anything else in the world is right. We just want to be right. And so if we were skeptical about the thing that you were doing, we just want to see that we were right. So we want your bus to crash. It's a, it's a terrible, terrible, terrible thing about humanity that we actually wish for other people to fail so that we can be right. Me personally, I'd kind of you rather succeed than for me to be right about you like crashing. But that's how people are. And so what you have to do is you got to drive that bus day after 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 day until people will go, you know what? I was wrong. That thing ain't crashing. It ain't going nowhere. I'm going to get on that bus. Because as Grant Cardone says, if you make enough noise, if you make enough noise, you get enough attention, you get a whole bunch of haters. But here's the thing. If you keep making the noise, your biggest haters eventually become your biggest admirers. People cannot help but admire people that show up every day. And this is why, this is why when people start saying things like, oh my God, you're so inspiring. You're so amazing. I wish I could be like you, but I don't have the money, but I can't do this, but I'm too busy right now, but I don't want to work the business, but... Here's what most of you do. You use that as fuel against yourself to say, see, I knew I wasn't good enough. I knew I couldn't do this. I knew I sucked. I knew they'd rather sign up with someone else. When in reality, that was the first marker to prove you've almost got to the point of getting their trust. You were so, so close because people can see and they can feel when you're about to take off and see success and that's when they stop making fun of you. Not to say that everyone does because some people make fun of you forever. That's truth. But some of them start to come around and say things like, man, you look like you're killing it. I remember when I wasn't making any money at all, but people started saying things to me like, dude, you look like you're killing it. What they really meant was you've been doing this for a long time now and you haven't quit. You must be, you must be succeeding. See, here's what people are smart enough. People who are against network marketing, who are against starting your own business are still smart enough to realize anything you do for long enough will eventually see success. So if you've been doing it for long enough, people start to associate you with success, whether you've had it or not. People start to assume you're having success, whether you are or not. And that's when influence starts to happen because you start to have people's respect. People start, they already know you, hopefully, but they start to like you. And most important, they begin to trust you. And that is what influence is. Influence is essentially having someone that trusts you enough. They're willing to go where you say to go and they're willing to do what you say to do. But nobody is going to trust you when your bus route only runs one or two times a week. No one's going to trust you when your posts add absolutely no value whatsoever. And then you're showing up in the inbox asking them to purchase something. No one's going to trust you when you are so down and out on yourself that you don't see your own strengths. So the last thing I need you to remember, number four, I want you to write this down while I'm grabbing a drink. Number four, it will not happen overnight. 
So glad that I just saw my homegirl, Emily Luciano, hop on. Hey, girl, how you doing? Because she is one of my um, greatest stories of someone who won't give up, of someone who is willing to trust the process that it does not happen overnight. I have watched people work with me that have been willing to put in three to six months of time, and I swear to you, those people always, always, always see results. See, the problem with most people is they want to have influence. They want to grow a following. They want to get better engagement. They want to become better at selling. They want to become better at recruiting. They want to get people on their team to do stuff, but they're not willing to stick with it for the amount of time that it takes because they want it to happen overnight. People are looking for a magic pill for their business. And I'm going to tell you right now, there is no magic pill for the law of sowing and reaping. The law of sowing and reaping says, man, whatsoever man sows, that shall he also reap. But what you're forgetting is that there's this time thing going on as I teach in my in my push mastermind. The thing that I remind them of week after week after week after week is this right here. Consistency plus intensity plus worth plus time. Let me say that one more time. Consistency plus intensity plus worth plus time. That's how you get anything you want in life. It cannot and will not happen overnight. Because at the end of the day, you got to be consistent enough with the right actions, not, not 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 just showing up and playing on your phone every single day. See, a lot of you are complaining about your business not taking off when in reality, you're playing on your phone every day. You're not actually doing the right things. Number two is the intensity. And this is the energy that we show up with, which is one of the reasons we need to know our strengths. Because when you do the things you're good at, when you do it with the energy that you flow in, you show up and you freaking rock it when you're owning your own strength. Number three is your worth. And this is the, oh gosh, this is probably the number one thing that people struggle with that I'm trying to work them through in my groups is thinking for whatever reason, because I haven't done this, I don't have this, I may not be good enough of a leader or this or this or this or this, I'm not worthy of the kind of success that I want. I'm not worthy of people joining my team. What if I let them down? What if I fail them? So you've got to understand that it takes time to develop enough self-worth and enough self-confidence to finally believe in yourself and embrace your strengths. And then the last thing, of course, is just time. Once you get all of those things working together, the consistency plus the intensity plus the worth, those three things, now you got to work those three things together for enough time for it to finally pay off. So you need to understand it will not happen overnight, and there are three very important things that you will need. Number one is a, a system. You need a system. I said that most of you are not doing the right things. Most of you are playing on your phone four hours a day, but never, ever, ever actually doing the vital behaviors. You're never actually touching the things that matter the most. And then you get frustrated that you don't have a page. You need a system. You need a system to plug into so that you know every single day, this is what I need to do so I can put in action to work the compound effect. You need accountability. You need someone to tell you, hey, you're not showing up, and I expect more of you. I know you have what it takes. You, Everyone needs someone to call them out when they are not living up to their potential. And the third thing you need is access. You need access. You need access to someone who has real-time solutions, who has real-time help, who has real-time support. Someone that believes in you and someone that will help you. And guys, that is why I am so freaking passionate about my Push Mastermind group. Because I realized that this was a huge, huge, huge gap that people had. That people, number one, didn't have any system at all. People were just waking up and just winging it. Can you imagine going to the bank and telling them you want to take out a loan for a business? And they ask, okay, that's great. We'd love, it sounds like you're excited about this. It sounds like you're passionate about this. What's your game plan? And you look the banker in the eye and you say, well, I'm going to post here and there on social media. I'm going to reach out to some people here and there. I'm going to use some, you know, really, some really creative filters on Snapchat. I'm going to um, I'm going to add some twinkles and stars in my Instagram stories, and I may even dance. I, I, may, I may add some dance moves. What is that banker going to say to you? That banker is going to say, you are the craziest person I have ever heard of. Please leave my office now. 
And that is what 90% of network marketers business strategy looks like. You don't have a strategy. You're making up stuff as you go. So what I have done in the push mastermind is put together a specific system. People say all the time, if I just knew what the top people did, man, I would do that. Well, that's what I did. I personally mentor a ton of the multi six figure earners and seven figure earners. And I essentially took, okay, what does a day in the life of a top recruiter look like? And I turned that into a daily tracker that as of right now is in a spreadsheet, but in the next week to week and a half will actually be inside my brand new app where you'll have access to this tracker right inside the app. You just pull it up on your phone. Choon, 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 choon. Oh, day is done. I got done. And here's the beauty. When you have the right system, you do the right things. You no longer waste time on the wrong things. And for the first time in your business, you're actually spending more time with your family, not less time with your family. See, a lot of you, your spouse can't stand your business because this is what you're doing all day and night. Uh, uh, what, 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 what's that? Were you talking to me? What? Uh, uh, oh, oh, what, babe? Oh, your kids, your kids think that you are like addicted to your phone. Here's the thing. When you are intentional and have a system, you no longer need to spend all day and night on your phone. You spend a couple hours on your phone or laptop, you get it done, and then you move on with life. Second thing, the accountability factor. Even though you guys have uplines, most of you do not let your upline in enough into your space. And the reason I know this is because of all the people that I mentor, I have very few people who actually give their teams trackers who are actually willing to fill them out and send them back in. They give out trackers to everybody on the team. Everybody technically gets their system usually, but so few people actually use those systems. And here's the beauty of working with me. I can hurt your feelings because I'm not afraid to. I have a different level of influence with you than what your upline does. Your upline has something that I call the law of familiarity or big brother syndrome, meaning you don't like your upline to call you out on your crap. And you will come up with excuses, not because you're trying to lie, but because you got your defenses up because you think you're giving your all. I'm your push coach and I don't really care what you say. I want to see proof of it on paper. I want you to show me that you did the things you said you should do that I said you should do. And if you don't, I'm going to call you out in the push mastermind. We put you on our system in every single Monday. Anyone that falls below 70% of their activities gets tagged in a post and we straight up call you out. And then we give you 48 hours to catch up on those activities or just get kicked out of the group. And what we found is that 95 plus percent of people, will follow through on the actions they are given when they are held to that level of accountability. Now, how many times have you paid for a trading group? How many of you times have you maybe sent money to your upline to be in some type of like a cash pot things? How many times have you gone to events, paid for trainings that you didn't use? Well, that's pretty much the going trend is that within my industry, within your industry, we know that for the most part, about 80% of people that pay money never show up to actually collect on what they paid for. And unfortunately, I think that my industry makes way too much money off of people not showing up. I'm constantly asking myself, how do I get more people to show up? This system, we launched it a couple months ago. It has worked like nothing else I've ever seen in my life. I, I can't tell you. I can't tell you how freaking good it feels to be able to say to someone, here's the thing, when you give me your money, you've got a 95% chance of success with implementing what you've learned. Now, that doesn't mean that 95% of people see their businesses take off immediately within four weeks. I will say that people that work with me three plus months, um, the success rate in the numbers is like 80 plus percent. People that work with me six months plus, the success rate is 100%. In fact, I give this challenge over and over and over in my group. I challenge people. I say, work with me six months. Do it. I, I dare you. And if you don't increase your numbers and your sales, I'll refund you every penny you've ever paid me because I believe not even in my system that much. I believe in the compound effect that much. My system just happens to be intentional enough to get you to do the right things. So system, accountability, and the third thing I mentioned was access. I do believe that access is very important. One of my mentors one time said that everything we accomplish is riding on the coattails of someone else's belief. So here's what we do in the Push Mastermind. We have a live call every single Monday. 
Every single Monday, we start off the week right at 11 a.m. Central. And if you can't make it live, it's recorded. I basically, we have a Zoom call. Everyone hops on. And I, for about 30 or 40 minutes, I speak on belief. I speak on consistency, intensity, worth, and time. I, I essentially share a part of that formula and I dive in deeper to the consistency, to the intensity, to the worth, and hanging on for a long enough time. Every single Monday, I'm essentially saying, it's a fresh week, hop on my coattails, and let's go. For 30 or 40 minutes, I pump you full of belief like what I did tonight. What I did tonight is basically just an example of what I do every single Monday for them. And then I spend the last half hour answering questions. As you start to build your business, how many of you say, sometimes I got some questions? Sometimes I run into some struggles. Sometimes my mind, that's a lot of mindset stuff that I need to work through. And so what we do is we have a message thread or we have a, a message, yeah, a, a thread essentially for questions. And every single Monday, I pump you full of fire. And then in 30 minutes, I kind of speed round it and I answer all of the questions that have been asked in the group. So you get real time access to me for live calls to continue getting that push to continue to get that motivation and energy that you need. And then you get your questions answered, which is one of my favorite things, because here's the thing. It's not that we need questions answered as much as we need our self affirmed and validated. And what I mean by that is a lot of times we kind of know the answer, but we just needed someone that we look up to and we trust to kind of give us permission that we're doing it right. And honestly, the Q&A time is not as much people necessarily struggling with, I really don't even know how to do this. It's more of, I need permission to do this. And so that's what we take time to do every single Monday. So here's the thing. If you're someone who needs this system, who needs this accountability, who needs this access, the push mastermind, I'm telling you, is about to change your life. I'm telling you, I believe in it so freaking much. I tell people, spend six months with me. And if you don't get results, I will refund you all of your money. Okay. The push mastermind is $249 a month. It's a $249 investment to make sure that you show up and do the right things. And here's what's crazy to me, guys. You want to hear what's crazy? I could get on this call tonight if I really wanted to, and I could sell you a $1,000 program if I told you that I had a magic pill that would fix your business. I could say, here's the thing, guys. I got this one thing that's going to fix everything. And if you just say this one thing and you just repeat after me, just repeat this after me and think these magical unicorn thoughts, you're going to see success in the next 24 hours. And people would line up to pay me a thousand plus dollars. You'd pay me five thousand dollars right now if I told you something like that. Yet I ask people over and over and over on calls if you put in six months of consistency, doing the things you know you should be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. If you did that for six months, how many of you believe that your business would take off? Every single hand will raise, every single hand, which tells me there is a magic pill, there is a magic formula, and it's just being willing to show up day in and day out for six months. And then you say it costs $250 and people say things like, oh, I don't think I can afford that. If I told you I had the magic pill for $1,000, you'd pay it like that. You would take out a credit card. You would sell everything in the house. You would find a way. Essentially, I've given you the solution. And you're still going to find a way. If you really want to, you'll find an excuse. Some of, some of you say this on Instagram every single day. If you really want to, you'll find an excuse. But if you really want to succeed, you'll find a way. So here's the thing. If you want to sign up for the Push Mastermind, I'm going to give you the link right here inside. Um, now, for you, for those of you on, um, here we go, should be showing up on your screen if you're in Webinar Jam, okay? Now, if you let me know if you guys see that. If you're on Facebook Live, you can go to joshcoats.com. Just take my name, joshcoats.com. If you're on um, Facebook Live, go to joshcoats.com, and then you'll see up at the top, you'll see the push mastermind that you can grab onto. Okay. Let me know if you guys see it. Do you guys see it there? It should be displayed. If you're in webinar jam with me. Okay. It's there. So you can go straight there. You can sign up. And the beauty of it is we kick off a new round this coming Monday. We are starting off October, which is the first month of the last quarter of the year. We are going to rock this last quarter. So here's the thing. It's 249 a month. 
You can cancel at any time. You're not going to want to, but you can. Okay. You're not stuck in there forever. There's no contract. You can cancel anytime you want. You're going to get a call with me every single Monday, along with questions, along with we just essentially shifted the Push Life community over to the Push Mastermind. We're going to use the Push Life community page to have an open forum style. So you're going to be able to go in the Push Life community, post anytime you want with questions that you have, use the community, bounce things off of each other. Okay. On top of that, $25 of your money is going to go into this thing. We have a cash back challenge because we want to reward you. We don't just want to punish you for not doing your part. We want to reward you for doing extra. So anyone who does 25, or sorry, 25, who does 85% or more, okay? If you do 85% or more of your activities, you get a split of this cash pot that essentially has 25 bucks for every person in the group. Right now, we've got 100 plus people. So as of right now, I mean, the, the minimum of the cash pot is $2,500. If you do 85% of your stuff, you get a split of that, which 2,500 is like the minimum, okay? So we obviously hold you accountable to making sure you do the right thing. But then when you go over and above, we want to reward you. Okay. The other thing is I always, always, always do some type of a bonus on webinar night. So here's the thing. This is only for, this is only for new signups. Okay. This is not for people who are already in the group. If you're already in the group, you're already seeing the value. You already know it's awesome. You already know you're getting your money's worth. Okay. But I always do webinar bonuses because I always have new people coming in on these they don't know, like, and trust me just yet. And sometimes one hour isn't enough to get that rapport. So I always do some type of a bonus for you guys to help you to make the step in the right direction to do what you need to do. So the first 10 people that sign up tonight are going to get a free Let's Puke Together tank top. We've got this Let's Puke Together band. You're going to get a free Let's Puke Together tank top. We're actually about to make some new ones for my event that's going down um, next month. And you're also going to get a free signed copy of my book, Clarity and Focus for Entrepreneurs. Okay. This is, um, I have a whole bunch of signed and numbered copies of my book. This is a book that I just released over the summer. It's technically been on um, Amazon for, I don't know, maybe, maybe the last six to nine months, but I just released the physical copies um, over the summer. So the first 10 people that sign up tonight are going to get free tank top and a free signed copy of my new book. Yes, you can join after this Monday. You can technically join anytime you want. It's just that the best time to join is before the first Monday of the month because that's when we kind of kick things off and launch things. Here's the other bonus thing that we're going to do for everyone in the Push Mastermind, whether you're signing up this week and already doing, we're going to do a 30-day Instagram challenge. So for the longest time, a lot of my posting schedule has been kind of based on Facebook and the way we've been growing business, but everyone is evolving and moving over to Instagram. So here's the cool thing is along with the push mastermind, no extra cost. This is just going to be a part of the group in October, at least. Okay. It's not like an ongoing thing, but for the month of October, we're including a 30 day Instagram challenge where I'm going to create a posting schedule for you on Instagram. I'm going to create, well, it's already created, but essentially you're going to get access to a posting schedule on Instagram, a way to grow your following on Instagram, a way to build your engagement on Instagram so that you can be rocking the freak out of your business over on IG. Okay. I don't feel like there's been a really great system. Okay. And everyone needs a system. It's not about doing everything in the world that you've learned. It's about taking some things, the most intentional, proper things, and plugging it into a system, okay? So the beauty of this 30-day challenge is it's taking the things that I've learned from my clients. I have one specific that has kind of been actually helping me put this together, Homegirl Crystal, and essentially we're going to give you a 30-day challenge to make sure you're utilizing stories properly um, to get people actually interacting with you. We're going to make sure you're posting really good stuff that's going to establish you as the influencer. We're going to make sure that you are going and following people to get some follow backs. We're going to make sure we're going to have you building up a list of 20 to 30 people. They're kind of like your dream team and going into stories every single day and basically uh, interacting with these people and developing relationships with them. Okay. It's going to be freaking awesome. I'm so excited for this. So make sure you get in this Monday. We kick off. Okay. One more thing that I just want to throw out there. Right, we're gonna get to the giveaways. Give me, give me two minutes, and we'll get to the giveaways. Okay, if you are someone who is already really, really consistent, you're already showing up, you're already doing the work that it takes. 
but you now have a team full of people and your next step is building this kind of consistency within your leadership to get your team on board with you, okay? If that's something you need, one of the options that you'll see when you go to the website under Push Mastermind is the Push Leader, okay? The Push Leader is an upgrade from the Push Mastermind where you participate in all the activities with the Push Mastermind, but you get thrown into your own Facebook group with other Push Leaders. We have two different bonus calls a month where I teach specifically on leadership. One of the things you're going to get in that group is you're going to get a specific system that I've created for motivating your team and mentoring your team. Okay, you're going to get access to basically the entire system that I have my one on one clients and my high performers going through right now, creating team challenges, creating team mentorship groups. And then on top of that, you're going to get my entire art of leading training for free. OK, my art of leading training is a whole bunch of modules that I recorded last summer. I think it's like 15 plus modules on um, creating team culture and leadership. You're going to get all those modules for free. OK, so if that's what you need, it's on the same page under Push Mastermind. If you go there, hit the drop down menu, you'll see a push leader option. Click on that. OK, the first 10 people that sign up for whatever it is tonight, whether it's Push Mastermind or Push Leader, all of you will get a Let's Puke Together tank and a free book. OK. Guys, if you have any questions, please, please, please hit me up. I'll be up late this evening. Kids at their mom's house, so I'll be up late this evening on Instagram chatting. If you got a question, you want to hit me up there. You want to hit me on Facebook or you want to message us through the website. I'll be up late chatting and answering questions for people. Okay, let's dive in. Someone asked me a question over here earlier. I want to get that. Um, okay, cool. Um, yes, if you're already in the Push Mastermind, of course, you don't, you don't need to sign up again. You're already there. I think someone asked something about a monthly thing. Um, someone asked, I think, if the whole cash back challenge is a monthly thing. And yes, it's not just your first month. Every single month, your payment, $25 of that goes into the cash back challenge. So that's something you have the opportunity to earn every single month. Okay, let's get to these giveaways because I know you guys are jacked up, fired up, ready to sign up and get to work it. Okay, so um, four, I've got five free spots in the art of recruiting. And that is going to go to Jess Perino, Michelle Drysdale, Danae Love, Shell Ponfull, and Jamie Garcia. Again, five people that are winning the art of recruiting tonight for tagging me in posts is Jess Perino, Michelle Drysdale, Danae Love, Sheila Ponfull, and Jamie Garcia. You have won a free spot in the art of recruiting. You can message us. Please message us info at joshcoats.com. Info at joshcoats.com. If you can't remember it, just put in my name.com and message us through the website. Okay. If you are someone who wants to do the push mastermind instead of the art of recruiting, you can upgrade for a hundred dollars. Okay. From the art of recruiting, you can upgrade to the push mastermind for a hundred bucks. Just shoot us an email. Either way, let us know if you want a free spot in the art of recruiting or want to upgrade to the push mastermind. Okay. And then three people winning a hundred bucks tonight. Those three people are going to be Heidi Smith, Lauren Hattery and Molly Hawks, Hawks, H-O-U-X. I apologize. I, I probably miss, I, I butcher people's names all the time. I'm so sorry. Three people winning 100 bucks tonight, Heidi Smith, Lauren Hattery, and Molly Hawks, okay? What you need to do is same thing. Message us info at Josh Coates. Let us know if you would like that 100 bucks um, sent to your PayPal or if you want to apply it to one of the trainings that you heard about tonight that you know you need in your life. Either way, hit us up, guys. Thank you so freaking much for hanging out with me live. Again, I apologize if my eyeballs are moving all over the place. Facebook events have been super weird and not sending out notifications for stuff. So I just wanted to make sure that this webinar got to you, this training got to you, wherever you're at, whether you're here in Webinar Jam or up there on Facebook Live. Please, please, please remember this. Whether whether you sign up with me or not, guys, does it, the, the, here's what I want you to remember, okay? You are worth every single thing you want in your life. Here's the thing. All of us are constantly questioning our worth. Do, am, am, I, am I really worth this thing that I want? Am, am I really worth having people sign up with me? Do I really have something? I know Josh said I have, but do I really? Here's, here's the thing that I want to challenge you with. I've been challenging people with over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Answer this for me. If you have children, if you don't have children, pretend I'm talking about your nieces or your nephews or your loved ones. Do they or do they not disobey? My guess is they do. Do they or do they not do things that they're not supposed to do sometimes? My guess is they do. 
and yet are they still worth your love? And if they have something they really, really, really want to do in life, would you not tell them you are worth anything you want in life? You would. In a second, you would tell them you can have anything. Now, why is that? Why is it that our own children can do things they're not supposed to do, can mess up, do wrong things, and we still believe in their worth, but we don't believe in our own? We have allowed ourselves when it comes to ourselves to believe that worth is somehow a product of our actions. And yet when we look at other people, we allow ourselves to realize that worth has nothing to do with their actions. Their worth is their human right. And I need you to understand this more than anything else in the world tonight. Your worth is your human right for just being born. That's all you had to do is just be born. There is nothing in the world you can do to undo your worth. Nothing that anyone else has ever done to you could undo your worth. The only thing you need to do to be worth what you want in life is to simply be born. You're somebody's kid. You are somebody's kid. Whether they realize that or not, whether they gave you that worth or not, doesn't matter. Your worth is established based on your human rights. So please do me a favor. Promise me that you will chase after your dream and that you will live up to your full potential. Thank you guys so much for hanging with me tonight. My name is Josh. I'm your push coach. Have an awesome night. I look forward to seeing you in my group on Monday or chatting with you tonight on Instagram or Facebook via email, wherever it's at. I love you guys. I will see you all soon. And that's going to take a minute because I got to close it in two places. <laughs> there we go.